is up guys it's Mike Jamum here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my third playthrough of a gothic one in this particular playthrough I'm gonna play the playthrough of Balear which is in Gothic 1's case it's going to be the old camp in this particular playthrough I will show you the trick in becoming both a guard as well as a, a fire mage so without further ado guys let's begin I'm Diego I'm I'm not interested in who you are you've just arrived I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the King. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch, because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. Welcome to the colony. All right, so let me just save. All right, so now before I'm going to start playing the game up to the point where I reach the old camp. Let me first explain you guys what the build in a gothic one is going to be when it comes to the path of Balear. The level is relatively unknown right now. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but when it comes to strength, um, since Balear has the potential of giving his followers a high amount of strength, my strength is going to be very very important but also my dexterity and mana because these three things work in you know, harmony 
but that's you know I'm not quite sure how many much strength dexterity and mana I will get but as much as I possibly can get now when it comes to one-handed fighting it will be maxed two-handed fighting will be maxed and bow and crossbow will not be learned at all um, at least not in this playthrough maybe as a bonus since in gothic 2 automatically you start with about 10 percent which is max in this game um, i could learn them but you know that remains to be seen thieving opening locks of course picking pockets of course however picking pockets in this game is relatively bugged and relatively useless so i will learn pickpocketing like any other playthrough adenals and enals um, at you know late game magic circle is gonna be six he will learn how to sneak he will master the arts of fire and he will learn acrobatics uh, and apparently uh, this game has a regeneration I never learned regeneration whatsoever which is uh, kind of shocking at the moment but you know remains uh, to be seen whether I can learn it or not it's optional in gothic 3 of course he will learn it but this is not gothic 3 this is gothic 1 now in this particular video all I will do is just uh, go from here the beginning of a uh, gothic 3 uh, to the point where you know I enter the old camp the next episode will be the entire old camp including all the quests which require to travel around so let's say you know um in order to get the recipe from uh what was his name uh god damn it i've got his name dexter yeah dexter i think um you know you have to get a recipe for a certain healing potion i will get it um instantly you know just before i would go to let's say do the quests in the sect camp or the quests in the new camp playthrough you know um, I will do all the quests before picking a side and in a gothics one's case I will only be l capable of learning things you know which represent Baliar summoning magic death you know death and destruction So this guy is not allowed to use, let's say, death to the undead. Now, if you open these chests, you know, you have, let's say, a thousand gold pieces inside that chest. And you want to get them all, there's no option to do that in Gothic 1. The highest amount that you can get, you know, you have three options. You have the one at the time option which is just with left mouse click and the arrow keys I'm not wearing a weapon nearly got my ass whooped wow. God damn it, I lost it again. <sighs> that happens more often than not. But, um, you know, all the quests will be done in one video, basically. And, you know, it will require still to travel around a bit. But I cannot start, you know, a new camp quest, even though I went from the old camp to the new camp with Mordrag. You know, or got the a recipe from the... Um, alchemist in in the swamp which is called Colom I think um, if I got that you know I can't do the other quests around there so otherwise it might you know get confusing and such 
But uh, if you guys wonder what Pacific quests and what Pacific points will be completed, just check the description. I'll make sure that before these are uploaded, they will not have that timestamps, not yet. You know, they will be under development. But I will make sure which quests are completed um, at, let's say, the old camp, these quests, the new camp, these quests, the second camp, these quests. make sure that the game tags are coherent versus that so let's say the quest is a gather five hell mushrooms and two meat box the game tags will say you know gather five hell mushrooms one game tag and the second one gather two meat box you know um, meat box meat or whatever Much they will be shown instantly at the uh, description. <coughs> but the main reason why I decided to start the third playthrough of a gothic one is due to the fact that I need to have a game completed on all possible paths so that people know at least see one game that has it done you know Start moving around get it but I need one game you know that uh has been beaten on all paths. In Gothic's case, I'm rather typically close. Um, the only thing that I still have to do is this particular playthrough and this particular path, the path of Balear, you know. The Dark Mage, the Black Mage, the Necromancer, uh, it has many, many names. show you the all potential quests of uh, the path of uh, Baliar, in my case the path of the old camp, including uh, the one where you uh, can reef join the forces with Gomez. Now in order to do that I cannot join the water mages nor Zardas. I'm not entirely sure you know if it's gonna be game breaking since afterwards I would join Gomez or something like that, you know, and I can't join the Water Mages anymore. That would totally destroy my playthrough because if I can't become a um, Water Mage, it's very unlikely that I can become oof, a Necromancer, which uh, requires Magic Circle 5 at least. And the Fire Mages can only train me to about, you know, Four, and then the fifth one I can learn at the Water Mages, and the sixth one I can learn from Zardas. But you know that's still quite a long way from now. But I will keep aligned with Gomez, so I can get a re-entry to the old camp, which most people forget. most option that you can do, you know, the best option um, and the most occurred option is as soon as you get kicked out out of the old camp by Gomez because of the uh, whole assassinations of the fire mages and the retake of the free mine, you know, um, it's gonna cause some issues and you will be kicked out, you know, 
most people will then join the water mages. I normally would do that too. Um, but in this particular playthrough, I'm gonna see if it's possible to stay still with Gomez. I know that's you know possible if you don't pick a side and you get the quest to retake the mine, you can get access to the old camp again. You know, talk with Gomez. that I don't know is whether afterwards I can still join the water mages or not um, because I only want to check on what happens if, you know um, it's been a long time since I took that option because just like most players I too you know I too joined instantly after being kicked um, from you know you're getting kicked from the old camp I instantly always instantly join the water mages um, the only reason when I didn't do that was about my first playthrough, just to see what happens, you know. Um, and it has some uh, hidden access towards it so that you can get back access to the old camp and thus you don't have to kill everyone, you know. Um, but that remains to be seen, I'm not 100% entirely sure about that. But I will still give it a try nevertheless, and should it fuck things up, then so shall it be, you know, maybe Zardas can also teach the fifth circle. I doubt it, but it's at least gonna be worth the try, you know. No, but no matter what happens, this guy has to become a master in the arts of magic. Oh no, you just didn't. Let me pass. Fuck you, man. F you. Literally. F you. Killing me, kill. But uh, the main reason why I did the third run is because I just finished the uh, secondary playthrough of Gothic 2 and I was really like, hmm. Yeah, I really want to play the path of Balear, you know, because, uh, it's gonna be interesting, you know, Gothic 1 will have three paths, Gothic 2 will have three paths, Gothic 3... <coughs> ...will have three paths, you know, Gothic 3 for Satan, Gods will have three paths, Gothic 4 will have three paths, and Fall of Satyrif will have three paths. At least, if I remember everything correctly. Um, so, it's gonna it take quite some time to actually beat all games. All of those games. Well, actually, all paths. All three of them. But, I at least need one game that has it done. And, since I've already done two of Gothic 1, might as well do the third one. And, uh, I get it over with, you know. Alright, that was a quick death. Let's make one at the bottom here, I will call it death counters. Still 
getting used to these controls again. It's always so confusing in, in, in the beginning. But the reason why I made that safe is so that if I die, no matter what chapter I am, I know always exactly where to use safe, you know. Um, without overriding any of the chapters, videos, slash, you know, saves, whatever. But, uh, yeah, we have arrived at the old camp, so, uh, the next episode is gonna be a relatively long one, I think, about an hour, an hour and a half to do all the quests inside here, but that's because of a no skipping conversations. Um, the reason why I do this is so that if people watch, let's say, my first playthrough, they, you know, the NPCs tell their stories. When I do the second run, the NPCs tell their stories. And the third run, so that people have the option, you know, which part do I prefer? Do I prefer the old camp? Do I prefer the new camp? Or do I prefer the sack camp? Enos, Arnos, Belia, or uh, I want to have, a, a, you know, a playthrough of a mage. In, and if a mage, what kind of build does that mage have, etc. So then people have multiple options. Only the hardcore run will I literally skip every conversation and just speed run through the game without dying, full build on everything. And he must represent all three gods. Um, so it's gonna be relatively interesting. But nevertheless, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. It was a relatively short episode, I think. Um, the next one will be a little relatively what launcher one but that's because of a couple of quests inside this camp which require me to go to a the sacked camp and b the new camp um in order to complete those so you know that's for the next episode so if you guys like what you see you know thumbs it up thumbs it down positive or negative feedback and if you do subscribe you know m make sure to hit the notification be aware though that I might sometimes upload a lot and uh, it could drive people mad um, so if you you know will check on a daily basis anyways you know on every channel there's no need to turn the notification on because it can only make you crazy um, because of all the pop-ups um, but uh, I will upload as much as I can as quickly as I can as efficiently as I can and upload and beat as many games as I can along the way as quickly as I can you know and build up the community through a varieties of games but uh, to make sure that people understand that all three parts you know in Gothic's case all three parts will be beaten it's easier said than done to actually beat all the three parts and uh, that's why I'm starting the third run right now so I hope to see you in episode 2 and uh, we're gonna do the old camp there and uh, get closer and closer to a Gothic 2 path of Balear, a Gothic 3 path of Balear, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, see you guys next time.